Hello, my name is Liz Dighton and I'm a teacher of computer science at Burramere High School in Edinburgh in Scotland. And today I'd like to share with you some of my experiences of using Marty the robot in the classroom. I first started using Marty with um, some of my beginner programmers and I used the Scratch interface with them, which gives them a good introduction to some basic Scratch blocks, to events such as uh, when the green flag is clicked, and other ones like clicking other keys, etc. It also, I find, is a really good introduction to some basic programming concepts. Each instruction that you give Marty is very visible in that it results in an action. It also helps pupils to see when they are sequencing instructions that um, as they give Marty an instruction, they do them in the order that they give them to Marty. It's also been quite useful at getting over some of the sort of concepts of loops and uh, repeating actions with them, um, again, people seeing immediately if they ask it to repeat something, then the, the action is repeated at the number of times they ask. The main tasks that I've been using with them, these beginner programmers have been to you know, make Marty have a, a dance routine and also to get him to navigate around an obstacle course. The dance routine is all about you know sequencing instructions, repeating, getting them to do something in a particular order to, to look good. And then the navigation again it, I, is very similar, but adding in a sort of another level of having to think about how to make Marty turn, how to make Mar Marty move around objects, uh, the angles that they're going to need to use, and um, the length of the um, the number of steps they're going to have to take, and, and things like that too. So I'd kind of like to quickly show you a, a short video of uh, Marty in action in my classrooms. And if we just click here, um, I'll let them speak for yourself. So this is him um, having a bit of a, da a dance off. So as you can see from the videos, they, they really enjoyed um, working with Marty. And after we had a few lessons with him, I surveyed the pupils. And here's a summary of some of their responses, which I'd like to, to share with you. These are all their comments, which I haven't edited. So the first question I asked was, what would you like about programming using Marty? So as you can see, they enjoyed the freedom. I love the way that they said the Marty made you think about how to program it. Um, a very common theme was we could see our programs work on Marty, the robot, much better than it just being on the computer. Then I asked them what did they learn about programming using Marty. Um, again, it was it was quite interesting, but you know how to test programs properly and how to use deduction skills to figure out limits. That was something I hadn't really initially thought about, which I was very pleased to see. Um, I learned to write better code. Fantastic. And that making robots do complex tasks is a bit more difficult than it looks was also quite interesting. And then finally I asked them, you know, sum up what you think of Marty. And as you can see, some interesting there, you know, he's a robot with a su surprisingly expressive face. Um, I love the one, haha, you had French while I made robots dance. Um, Always about his fun, simple, but fun. Love that. And finally, I think um, a comment from Julia. I think Marty is an innovative, adorable robot who will be able to teach lots of people in the wonders of programming. And I really do hope that, you know, that, that kind of sums up what, what, he, um, what I think of him too. Some of my future plans that I have are to introduce Marty to some of the older pupils who are going on to study computer science at a bit of a higher level. 
we use Python as our main programming language in school, so I'd like to maybe use that to introduce some of the concepts behind robotics, how to make um, you know movements of the the legs, the arms, etc. work there, what the kind of robotics concepts that Marty uses too. And also to help um, illustrate some of the object oriented concepts um, using the Python objects and classes which um, the source code of Marty um, has used makes use of to try and sort of introduce how objects and classes are handled in Python using something which their pupils are familiar with. So I just want to say thank you very much for taking the time to listen. I hope you've had as much enjoyment with Marty in your classrooms as I have had in mine. I certainly would highly recommend it as something to fully engage pupils and get them really interested in learning to code. Thank you.